Well, Chucker, similar script again. Another three goal deficit. Your team battles back to get another point out of the standings, but kind of feels like there was another one there for the taking that just ultimately didn't get across the finish line. <laughs> what, what, what do you take away from that kind of a game? Well, it was a back and forth game, and, uh, you know, they got a little bit more momentum in the second period. They have that, you know, two successive penalties makes a long five on three they get a goal they get a second power play goal after that so then we're on our heels a little bit right we, we showed some life got a goal back after a timeout and then unfortunately <laughs> they got that fifth one to push it to five two but you know we had some resolve came out in the third stuck to our game plan you know we, we played on our toes found ways to get pucks to the net and sure enough it, it's a tie game and we had a chance to win um you, there was just parts of our game that, that weren't as great tonight, and I think the the group in there recognizes that, and you can feel that on the bench with the, with the you know guys talking to each other from the coaching staff to the players, the players amongst themselves on how much we, that was in our game in certain areas of it, and uh, that's what we're going to try to shore up as a coaching staff. One thing that had to be a relief was seeing the power play get two of the three goals in the comeback in the third there. What was the key to getting that? unit back in rhythm at five on four well, they you know they, they had been getting chances overall like there, there's always we have a pretty competitive division with good goaltending and pks and we're seeing different looks uh on the strategies on how to play against us and you know it was great they they found ways to you know give us a chance to win that game so kudos to those guys and that's something that we need them to be consistent game in game out every weekend that they they can provide you know produce and give us a chance to win how do you walk the line of it's great to have this resolve consistently from your group, but at the same time knowing it's probably not a sustainable model to keep having uh, these three goal comebacks in games? Well, it's you. You really got to look at like what happened to put us in those in those situations, and and today it was it wasn't so much. It was just key key mistakes in certain areas of the ice that really put us in a, in a in a spot and you know anytime you give teams five on three and like the discipline came out a um out a little bit there so you gave them a, gave them a chance to to put offense up and unfortunately they made us pay today with providence coming in tomorrow it feels weird to have not seen providence for a pretty lengthy period of time at least in our mm -hmm. standards of how often the two yeah. teams see one another. What do you take from the last time you faced Providence and apply to this time around? <laughs> They're always competitive games with Providence. Uh, it, it is rare that we haven't seen them, but uh, we have them three of the next four games, I believe, or, or so. So we know it's a tight checking game. They're a they're well coached team, and they, we play each other very hard <laughs> through and through, whether we're at home or the road. And it's one of those that you have to. Provide, come in and be ready to play a full 60 minutes um, or, or it's going to be, be a tough sledding all the way around. But I, I believe our group is committed to playing them hard and it's, it should be a good series. Thanks, Shocker. Cheers.